I still have a love of working with kids and families. We've just seen a growth, exponentially growth in, in, in violence in the community and our concerns are very high. Um, and so, and it's, and it's still a point to where it really feels like it's, uh, it's like, it's like a virus. And then what happens with a lot of the community violence, what we get lost in is the hope gets lost because you see so much loss, you see so much trauma. We need to keep our community safe. So that, that's, that's number one. And if a youth is, 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 is being unsafe and becoming reckless, when we see it, we're gonna do our best to, to interrupt it. We wanna interrupt that reckless behavior. We work with youth and families, and we start with building a relationship with the youth and families. And so we're assessing the family's needs, but also the relationship is key. And so, and within that relationships, uh, there may be needs to, ad to address the, the youth and family. Maybe it's their youth and parent relationship. We work with our community partners to bring in parent support groups that can work with some of the parents. So parents can feel like they're not alone with some of the problems that they're facing with their youth. Young people thrive in instruction. We know that. They uh, grow in relationships. Uh, they also grow in structure. You know, you're giving them something to do. You're giving them a purpose. And so young people can grow within that. One of the best gifts about this job is when you have a youth that comes back to you as an adult and say, hey man, thank you. I appreciate you, everything you did. I appreciate the conversation. I appreciate your drive. You know, there were some times where I didn't like you, but in the end, it all turned out pretty good.